The year is 2021. Humanity has reached out beyond the stars and formed a prosperous civilization led by the United Galactic Council, a unification of all human-controlled planets in the galaxy. Unfortunately, peace is ending. The UGC has been stuck in a seemingly endless stalemate with the evil Lord Geldar, commander of the Keltian armies and leader of the Keltan system. As Galdar continues to terrify and strike at the peaceful UGC, only one man can be called upon to stop them. Easily, those pitiful foregods fall. My lord, may I present President Birch, leader of the United Galactic Council. Here you stand before Lord Galdar, supreme leader of all Kelton, and commander of the four Keltian armies and future ruler of the galaxy. President Birch, long have I awaited this meeting. Finally, the UGC will bow down to me. Oh, come on, Galdar. It's Lord Galdar. Lord Galdar. How many times have you tried to kidnap someone? Three, four? It's getting a little stale. And I was in the greatest party with, with a bunch of endominium <laughs> green girls. <laughs> oh, you want to fight a war? I hear the ant people in Durite 4 are always willing. You are a fool. You humans and your peace will come to a swift end. I will see you all destroyed! That is the planet Forgon. As you know, it is home to one of the largest nucleolite mines in the galaxy. In a matter of days, its defenses will fail, and my fleet will move in and begin its invasion. Once I have control of that planet, your peace-loving UGC will have no choice but to attack, and the war will finally begin. Your pathetic people will at last bow down to me, and you will have to sit here and watch it happen. <laughs> you take the nucleite, or we'll just go somewhere else to get it. We live in a pretty big galaxy, Lord. <laughs> and to be honest, we pathetic humans have come this far. Maybe someday our flag will be flying on your fortress. <laughs> Would that be swell? There will be a war, President Birch. And your flag will never fly on Keltan as long as I live. Take him to the power cell. Maybe some time there will change his tune. Oh, make sure my room is comfortable. <laughs> I don't want to be tired when Dash comes to rescue. Incoming message from UGC headquarters. Put it on, Ryder. Captain Cloud Rider, we send this message to you in our darkest hour. Lord Galdar has kidnapped President Birch. With this message, you will receive your usual clearance and account access. Save the President, Captain. The galaxy depends on it. 
You'd think they remember Dash isn't the only one on the ship. Sorry. I don't know that one. Where's the captain now? Captain Cloudrider is busy in his quarters. Knock, knock. Hey, guys. Damn it, Roxy, don't do that. I hate that stuff. It makes my skin crawl. You need to wake up now, Dash. And please, for the universe, put some clothes on. <sighs> Darling, can you please tell Dash that the UGC called? The president's been kidnapped. Oh, I love it when my Dash gets to play here. With sexy hair time, Dash. Galdar. So he strikes again. According to reports, he's also blockaded Forgon. The fleet will run out of Nucleite in a few weeks. They're sending ships to retake the planet. So once again, the council calls on me to save the day. It's expenses paid again, correct? Yes, Dash. They're covering our expenses. You know, food, fuel, important things. Ryder, order that new model we talked about. Oh, and that gun? You know that gun that induces violence? Dash. Volume? Right. We have to go at once. I'm the president's only hope. We are the president's only hope. Or did you suddenly figure out how to fly the ship? Right. We are the only hope. Sorry. Darling, we're gonna have to cut this short. But Dash, you promised to show me the coffin. I'll come back. Rox, Rox, no time. You never let me see when you take sexy missions. Next time, I have a galaxy to save. Now, shall we save the galaxy? Read the briefing, Dash. Seems Galdar's taken the president to his fortress on Kelton 3. Any thoughts? We could land on the outskirts of the woods and sneak in unnoticed, retrieve the president and escape, uh, allowing the fleet to overtake Forgon. Ryder, what do you think? Normally you just like to fly in, get my hull all shot up, and have a crash landing. Excellent idea. We fly in, guns blazing, rescue the president, and defeat Galdar. Do you actually hear anything anyone says to you? Sweet of you to care about my hearing rocks, but I'm Dash Cloud Rider. My Lord Galdar, your spies have reported in. The council has sent Dash Cloud Rider to rescue the president. And it seems the UGC fleet is headed toward Forgon. Just as I predicted. Tarantula. I have a job for you. What can I do for you, my lord? Captain Cloud Rider is on his way. I want you to guard the president and then kill Cloud Rider when he attempts a rescue. But my lord, would Captain Cloud Rider not make an attempt on your life? Perhaps it would be wise for me to be in the throne room. It will be done, my lord. My lord, from my reports, UGC fleet will arrive a galactic day before ours. Our fleet at Forgon will be overrun. Fear not, General. The UGC is too weak to attack while we hold their president. All we must do is wait for the pieces to fall into place. Of course, my lord. Ten years, General. It has taken ten years to pull ourselves from the brink. Soon, our empire will reign supreme across all the galaxy. Soon, we will have our war. Yes, Lord. You have guided our people well. After many years of war, our people have become strong. Strong enough to rival even the UGC. And soon, our strength will be put to a long and bloody test against the largest united galactic force in the galaxy. Yes, General. Yes. And when the dust finally settles and our victory is complete, the people will know that it was Galdar who brought them this glory. Galdar who strode across the cosmos with a quit on fist. 
Receiving energy readings from the fortress. No other activity detected. We are probably going to die. Nope. Don't even. You're wrong every time. Literally every time. It is. Alert, alert, incoming fighters. Direct hit, shields at 80%. Dash, hurry up, we're sitting ducks here. Don't worry, bro. I'm on. Thanks, Rax. I owe you one. I think you mean two? Flight controls have been damaged, Captain. I can no longer fly the ship, and we are now on a crash course. Rox, you think you can handle that? I'm gonna get these fighters off us. On it. Come on, Ryder. Give me some kind of help. Oh, yes. Let me just decide which critical system to divert power from. Got it. Life support is now at minimum. Prepare for landing! Rider has been destroyed. They crashed into the planet in a fiery blaze. Counselor, I regret to inform you that your attempted rescue mission has failed. 
The asteroid rider has been shot from the sky. If your fleet continues its approach, the President will die. And if you are wondering, yes, my fleet will arrive at Forgard in three days. You will be left with no choice but to go to war. Farewell. Go! Keep the garrison on alert, General. It will be done, my lord. Roxy! We aren't dead. Fortunately, the fighters have broken off. Likely think we blew up. So, looks like once again Dash Cloud Rider has outsmarted the enemy. Hmm. Rider, status on the ship. Oh, you know, my hull got shot and we crashed into the planet. I should be able to make repairs. Just need some alone time. You've got time. After all, there's still a galaxy to save. Let's Scanning now. Scan complete. President Burst is in the power cell. Adding location to your map. Thanks, Ryder. This way. Wait. You go save the President. I'm gonna take out Galdar. What? Why? We get the President, we get out and stop the war. The only way to stop the war is to take out Galdar for good. So you go save the President, I'm going to the throne room. But- That's an order! Wake up. What? What's going on? My name is Roxy. Captain Cloudrider and I were sent by the council to rescue. Oh, thank goodness. Hey, Captain Cloudrider to the rescue. <laughs> oh, did he send you to keep me company while he deals with Galdar? Actually, Mr. President, Dan. Seems so we caught a fly. Oh, yes. No fly. I'm hoping for. Back off or I'll shoot. I'm taking the president out of here. We're in the power zone, dear. Guns don't work. Galdar, it's over. Lord Galdar, who are you again? Oh yes, don't tell me. The most overrated space captain in the galaxy, Dash Clump Slider. Clump Slider? It's Cloud Rider. Cloud Rider. No one cares, Captain. Now, I will spare you the opportunity for bravado. As we speak, your assistant is in Tarantula's web, and you are about to be cornered like a rat. General! Good timing, Rox. Now, Galdar, where were we? Victory later. Retreat today! Galdar, you coward. Dash, 
let's go. It's over for now. President Birch, look out! Oh, oh. Thank you, Captain. Come on, let's go. My hero! Tell me this ship can fly. I haven't finished yet, but I'm sure we could take off without crashing again. Roxy, I'll be at the gun. Oh, he really is the best of us. Rider for his heroic effort in rescuing President Birch from the clutches of Lord Galdar. Thank you, Captain. Typical. Can you believe this, Ryder? I'm sorry. I don't know that one. Repairs are almost complete. I think it's safe to say we can leave in a few hours. I'll go tell the glorious hero. Come in. Our repairs are almost done. We'll depart shortly. Which means you should probably finish up with your guest. Aw, oh, come on, Dash. We can linger just a little longer. I think we can stay for a bit, Rox. What's the rush? I'll make that a presidential order. <laughs> I'm going now. Oh, don't leave just yet. You'll miss all the fun. <laughs> Bye, Rox. <laughs> <laughs>